I have to ask, all the motors are up here, and usually they're at the bottom of the rocket. What's the deal? Well, it's like a front-wheel drive car. It's going to be a puller instead of a pusher. Is the fire going to come out here? Yes. And this is made of wood? Yes. Is so, that a design flaw, or is that on purpose? No, the flame's going to go straight through and straight out. It's going to be moving at 200 miles an hour up, so it's you know not going to be a problem, except for a second or two while it's coming off the ground. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. We I usually hit the bar, but this time I'm afraid the bar might hit me, so I'm going to way over there. <laughs> They're so worried about that tiki bar that there's a fire truck on standby. So as far as safety goes, all the rockets are over there. The crowd's all over there. But there's just one rocket out here. Does this mean you're concerned? Carrie, I don't think it's going to fly straight. I think it's going to tumble. I think it's going to hit the ground with the motor still burning. Parts are going to come off, and the motor's going to set them on fire. Well, that's optimistic. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. There's no question that the Cajun Coalition's Tiki Bar has scored huge points with the judges for originality. But will its unique four-motor design actually work? Everything comes down to this. Way out there at the left of the 80s path, it's a Tiki Bar. It's a scratch-built rocket. Tiki Bar up in 10, 9, 